Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and the rest of the coaching team. And we're going to go over this week's time drop interval workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have four stations. There'll be two exercises at each station. In the first set, you're going to go 40 seconds of hard work, 20 seconds to switch. The second set, you're going to go 30 seconds of hard work, 15 seconds to switch. And in the last set, you're going to go 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds to switch. And then we're going to rotate around the room just one time today. You ready, Tia? Ready. Okay. So station number one, we're going to start on the rope with those lunge slams. So you're going to use that momentum coming out of that lunge to get that rope up. And then use that momentum stepping back into that lunge to really slam that rope down. So you can alternate legs here, back and forth, up and down. If you want to take it up a notch, you can have that lunge jump slam in. So just jumping up off the floor. Of course, if there's an issue on your knees, don't worry about that. You can also just do those traditional rope slams if this is uncomfortable for any reason. Second exercise, we're just going to turn right around. We're going to work on our push-ups here. So showing you our traditional push-up, though you're welcome to do any one you'd like. Down from the toes, up from the toes, deep breath in on the way down, push that air as you press up. You can go down from the toes, lower those knees, and press up from your knees. Again, down from the toes, up from the knees, or you can work from your knees here, or just hold a plank if you need to as you're getting tired. Great job, Tia. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach Matt over here, and he's demonstrating our sumo squat bag clean. So you're gonna step out into that sumo squat, Yank that bag up to your shoulders. Deep breath in as you go down. So you're going side to side here, taking the bag down as you squat down. Yank that bag up, bring those feet together, moving side to side. It's a deep breath. Use everything you got to yank that bag up, pushing that air out at the top. The second exercise here is our dead bugs, and we're gonna add the band pull or bag pull apart in here. So, for this one, grab that sandbag, grab the side handles, you're pulling that bag apart like you're trying to tear the handle. Let's show them without the rotation first. So, the first option is just to pull it apart, and notice how Matt's pressing out with that foot, pushing his heel away, his lower back's pressed into the floor here, his core is engaged here, squeezing that glute as he presses out. If you want to add the bag rotation in as well, it's that opposite hand going up over your shoulder with that leg. So as his left leg goes out, his right hand goes over. So we're going to get some anti-rotational work here as well and some rotation work with that bag. You can also just do these dead bugs without the bag if that's becoming too much of a challenge. Arms up and then opposite arm and leg work in here. Nice job, Matt. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Seth over here starting on the skier. Remember, the skier is all about power, not speed. So don't think about moving fast. Think about pulling hard. You're gonna go up to those toes, reach for that top shelf, sit back onto those heels, pull those needles down. Deep breath in on the way up. Push that air out as you pull down, nice and controlled, as hard as you can on every single one. The second exercise here is our prisoner squat with that knee tuck. So hands behind those heads, you're gonna squat down, and as you drive up, you're gonna bring one knee up to your elbow. Squat down, come up, other knee up to the opposite elbow. So up and down here, and then getting that knee tuck in. Deep breath in. Push that air. Of course, if you're losing your balance on this one with that prisoner position, you can also put those hands out in front of you to help balance yourself out. You can take that knee tuck out completely and just work those squats as well. Nice job, Seth. And then from there, we're heading over to our last station. Coach T is back. She's going to be starting with our dumbbell squat presses. So get those dumbbells up at your shoulders. It's a deep breath in on the way down. Push that air as you drive up. Push those knees apart as you sit back, spreading the floor with your feet. Drive up, use that momentum coming out of that squat to throw those dumbbells up to the ceiling. Challenge yourself with the weight here, and as you're getting tired, if you need to, hold those dumbbells at your shoulders, take a deep breath, and get going again when you're ready. The second and final, second exercise of this station, final exercise of the whole workout, is our box walkover. So we're gonna have that box set up there. You're gonna start in that plank position. You're gonna step out with one arm, press up, Back to the starting position, then over. So you're going side to side here, glute squeeze nice and tight, nice and controlled. Notice that Tia's taking her time. She's not rushing here. If you want, you can add that push up in, squeeze, press, walk it back over. You can also go to the blue floor and do this one from your knees if you need to as well, or just hold that plank. Okay? That is our time drop interval work workout for this week. Great job, everybody.